From the bayou to the plains, the LSU-Auburn matchup has moved the earth and raised fire to the sky. The Bayou Bengals come touting a new coach in Nick Saban. The hope restore the roar of a once proud program. LSU must figure out a way to stop the Auburn running game. Rudy Johnson has the Auburn faithful believing and reminiscing of Auburn ball carriers past. taking the field here before a jam-packed house of over 85,000 at Jordan-Hare Stadium. They are prepared to see their Tigers go 3-0. But on the other side of the field as they face off tonight against the LSU Tigers with their new head coach, Nick Saban, they too trying to go 3-0 on this young 2000 season. Two proud programs trying to right themselves. Back in a rhythm. He's, he likes being back playing now. Watching video from the Houston game, he likes to put his head down and run hard. Four carries for 10 as the quick screen comes out complete to Reed. And Reed is going to be tripped up close to the first down. In fact, from where they've marked it, he will have the first down at the 27. Uh, Josh Booty would like to lead to his LSU team because I, I really feel uh, that Auburn has some outstanding cornerbacks and tight ends matched against safeties tonight would benefit LSU. You were looking at Robert Royal, big number 86, a senior from New Orleans. DiMaggio, we gave you his dimensions at 6'6", almost 260. Play action, reverses it out. Everybody's covered, gonna go long. This guy is not covered, and the ball is caught, and that's Reed. The man we were just talking about breaks a tackle, and he will score from 75. Josh Booty did the right thing, Ron. He had Robert Royal open for about 15 yards, but he had the home run, Josh Reed. Let you always practice against what you've seen them do. Noel Mazzoni, offensive coordinator for Auburn, pacing the sidelines as Johnson gets the ball, fumbles, picked up and recovered by LSU, and that's Falk. Trevor Falk, a sophomore from Lafayette. Auburn looks like a team that wasn't focused this week. Tommy Tuberville's biggest fears are coming to fruition. Rudy Johnson gets the hand on no. He threw he didn't it to get the hand off. You know, Ben Laird, ben an uncommon not. mistake there. He was too far away from it. Now, Rudy Johnson could have taken a wider angle on the play. You don't know. Because Auburn is not. In this first quarter, they are not playing with a lot of focus. That's Royal in motion. Booty, bootleg, to 10. He will go out of bounds. It'll be first and goal to LSU at about the seven and a half yard line. That's what Houston had problems with LSU last week because Josh Booty is a pretty good athlete. Reed has already got three catches for 90 yards and a touchdown. Third and goal. They roll the pocket. Going to have to hurry. Just throws it out of the back of the end zone. That was a smart thing to do. Excellent coverage on the part of Auburn. It was Torber. Reggie Torber, number 82, the redshirt freshman yeah, with John. the pressure. John Corbello. A 22-yard attempt, and this ball is sitting squarely in the middle of the field. It's Josh Booty, the holder. Good pass, and he splits him. So with 1.16, the clock continues to run down to 1.15 left in this opening quarter. A shock here on the Plains as far as the Auburn faithful are concerned is they are behind by a count of 10 to nothing. But the LSU Tigers appear to be totally focused oh, as they totally come in focused, here tonight. Ready yeah. to come in here for a win. Could be the last play of the opening quarter. Here comes the blitz off the corner. Lobs the pass one-on-one. -on -one. Daniels makes the catch just across midfield. That'll move the sticks. Ron, when you press cover 
Ronnie Daniels or any receiver. That's Robert Davis, number nine. You can expect to fade because all other routes are off. Now you just release outside, fade, and the ball's going to be thrown up for you, and you got to get up there and make the catch. Ronnie Daniels, two catches already tonight against Robert Davis. Welcome back to the start of the second quarter. Daniels, three catches tonight for Auburn, 44 yards. In his first three games, he had three for 72. But Mike, to me, the big number, Johnson. Five carries, only 11 first quarter yards. Yeah, they got to get him off. Here's that handoff. Turns it, gets the shoulder squared. Should be a late hit out of bounds right there uh, on number 11, Brady James, who came in on the top of the running back, uh, Rudy Johnson. Ron, you only need a couple plays. I've been talking about they look like they're sleepwalking. Senegas Moore, the tailback, and you can see he's about eight yards as the lone setback behind the line of scrimmage. Gets the handoff. He is tagged at the line of scrimmage by James. Brady James, the weak side linebacker right there. I don't like a short yardage play like that thir third and one where you don't have any lead blocker. 42-yard field goal attempt. Duvall, his longest in his career, 47 against Arkansas. That was in 1999. Got the distance on this one. And has the accuracy. The first field goal of the two. He led LSU to a season-ending win over Arkansas. A lot of athletic ability. This is a tough spot to bring him in cold. Josh Moody did well. This time, Davies going to go from the shotgun with a second down and 10. Lincoln bumped him out of bounds hard. That was more than a bump. <laughs> uh, he hit him hard. Rohan Davey deciding just leveled him there. Springs into him and knocks him out of bounds. Davey is good size. 239 pounds. 6'3". guy go over there. He's going over the idea to sell the coach and then he might be able to block this one. Let's see. Top of the screen to the left. Coming after him. Good job by the up blocker as Robinson makes the catch and is hit immediately. Whew. Clifton took a quite a chance as Mates makes the tackle following the 32-yard kick. Trev can really run. We have seen him with a couple of really hard, tough hits tonight. 6'3", 225. Good-looking linebacker. Here's that reverse. last week against Ole Miss. It's good for 25 yards. And Ron, the reason they run that is he's 4-2 in the 40. He's been all over the country. Virginia, his resume is long. But he believes in blitzing the offense. From the shotgun to get this out to Daniels. And Daniels breaks the tackle. And Believe. Well, he's very close to a first down. Let's wait and see. Damian James with his second straight tackle. No gain on that play. It's a second down and 10. As Johnson now 13 carries 59 yards in his first half. Robert Johnson stood out to tight end. Lobs it for the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown Johnson. Nobody covered him. Almost could see it coming, Ron. They flanked the tight end. Now Robert Johnson over here, and there's a bust. They're both playing the smash route. Robert Johnson just heads for the corner. They moved Robinson to various Robinson to the right side. He couldn't get there to the left side. Let's see if he thinks he can get there from the right side. Cuts inside. He was close. <laughs> this spiral's not going to turn over. There's a flag is down, and Robinson, Clifton Robinson, takes it back over toward the LSU sideline. And the tackle finally made 
just inside the 50 yard line. Damian James with his third special teams tackle tonight. Here's LSU thinking about not giving him an inch. The ball preparing on the sideline, hoping for just what Mike's talking about. They fake the little counterplay. Zings it right. Paying off. Held everybody, and that's what we were talking about in the open run. When you have Rudy Johnson in the backfield, everybody's going to flow with Rudy Johnson. Clifton Robinson sneaks out here in a corner route. Ben Laird puts it right on the money. Fred Booker, the corner off. Damon Duvall. This is a 32 yard attempt. Good pass, and he just hooks it right back in there. The Auburn Tigers, as the clock begins to run, continue to run actually to 32 seconds, in position to go in at halftime, unless LSU can come up with something desperation here in the closing moments. Fourth punt of the night by Donnie Jones. Clifton Robinson is the deep man. And this one off the side of the left footer's foot. Oh boy, he may not wind up with much more than 10 yards on this kick. Let's see where they're going to spot it down. The 47, Ron. 48. Okay, he's going to wind up with 29 yards. Third down. They need to take it to the 42 to keep this drive going. Auburn by three. tackles he's got tonight but both special teams and on the defense he's got to be close to double figures that's good for 20 yards so uh, an incomplete reception third and 18 worthy well short of the first down Robert Davis makes the play defensively for the LSU Tigers. Fourth down five situation. Now another decision for Tommy Tuberville. Do you go up by six with the field goal or do you go for it? it looks like he's going to go for it. Four out of four on fourth down. Conversions Clifton Robinson against Lionel Thomas. Ben Laird put the ball right out there to catch. Well, they've only got 10 seconds once they break the huddle. They're down to seven. Pitch goes to Tofield. Turns the corner. He'll have it. And Nick Saban saying that. Uh, if you can go for a fourth down conversion, I'll go for one. Simmons and Casher combining on the tackle, and he really paid for this. Let's see if LSU can use that fourth down and go down this football field and score. Tofield bounces it outside, turns the corner, has five, has ten. For the youngster out of Independence, Louisiana. And officially, they will say 16 yards in the carry. And there's a player down, and that's Casher. Casher is the injured Auburn player. Play started badly for Auburn because number 96 right here, Mills, is going to get hooked by Smalling, and that gives the corner to LSU. Not so sure that Casher didn't get kicked in the head by uh, his teammate, Simmons. For people who have 
just tuned in. This is Larry Kasher, the uh, left cornerback for the Auburn Tigers. While making the tackle, he went very low and was hit in the head, we believe, by the running back, Tofio's knee. It is a precautionary thing. Adrian Karsten hustling right there on the, on the scene said that he does have feeling in his legs and his toes, but for precautionary reasons, they are taking him to the hospital. And uh, Adrian has a little bit more on it right now. Adrian so we're back, 7-10 left to play, third quarter. And the game situation, first down LSU. That was a first down run by Tofiel to the Auburn 46. LSU down by 10, trying to get back in it with a touchdown of their own. You see the last minute stimming by the Auburn defensive front as Booty goes play action and goes on top on this one. And he's going to touchdown touch lead. Right after Traverius Robinson, the corner that replaced Larry Kasher. And got Josh Reed behind him for the touchdown pass. Jimbo Fisher making the call. So now that means that Reed has a 75-yard touchdown pass and now add a 45-yard touchdown yeah. pass. There'll be something else spectacular happen in this game. It always does. Well, you know, we said off yeah. the top of this game. You know, Traverius Robinson, number five, wants this kickoff. He wants to atone for that play. He's one of the deep guys with uh, Tim Carter. At the goal line. Say it. I think they made say it. Mad. You no, you told you told Auburn quit running toward Jarvis Green. My message is stop throwing toward Rodney Creighton. <laughs> yeah, go the other way. <laughs> Rodney Creighton got a penalty two plays ago. He said, sat on a route and he said, I'm gonna intercept this one. I'm sure the offensive coordinator will go back and uh, look at these tapes and again he's still trying to figure a way to play two quarterbacks. Booty is one of seven in the fourth quarter for 12 yards and one interception. That one tipped at the line of scrimmage. And it was Mark Brown, the young man who had that tough, tough hit. Now he's played well tonight, Mark yes, Brown. He has. he has been a force uh, in the Auburn defense. Down to one play here for the LSU offense. You know, they had so much momentum in the first quarter. They, they were rolling. The first quarter. They just uh, seemed to slip away. Booty had to change his mind because he could see coming up Torbo with the pressure, but he also could see Robinson was coming up had been uh, playing off the ball, and he would have picked that one off. And, Ron, give credit to John Lovett, the defensive coordinator. He is the man at the top of the screen. Actually, the inside man. Right number here. Two. two. Johnson. Look at Evans in front of him. He just built him. 
pushed out of bounds. That's what happens when two guys now get three games into the oh, season. Yeah. Evans looking behind him, wanting to make sure he felt where the tailback was, and then accelerating for the block. And those 25 percent that voted with a computer, they said, "Hey, there's our guy, Rudy." <laughs> Look at number 44, Heath Evans, gets in the way of. Uh, Two defensive players for LSU and big yardage for Rudy. He's going to increase that nine-yard average in this fourth quarter. This time Johnson to the left side. Inside the five-yard line, Lionel Thomas had to save six. Ron, he is a true hero here at Auburn. Uh, walking around the uh, business section, they've got Rudy all over the their windows. Run, Rudy, run. 56 yards in the fourth quarter. Under one minute left in our ball game. And the Auburn Tigers with a fourth down. Stung at the line of scrimmage, bounces off the top. Boy, thought came in a little late there. A lot of LSU players are going to see his number tonight. And they're asleep. There they are, the two tandem, Evans and Johnson. So Johnson now 35 carries 137 yards. Auburn is going to be a force in the West. They've, uh, they've, they've proven that in the first three ball games. Defense is getting steadily better, but when you've got a running game like they have, and then the weapons on the outside. Johnson. With three seconds left on the clock. Ron, I believe they had to run that play oh, with 26 seconds to yeah. go. They had to run one play. Damon Duvall tries to make it a 17 point Auburn Tiger lead. And he does. And while of course the clock does not run during an extra point attempt, so still three seconds up there, and LSU will get to touch it one more time on this kick return. by LSU and the clock has run out so the final score Auburn 34 LSU 17 coming up next Sports Center next Saturday will be in Big Ten country as the third ranked Michigan takes on Illinois for Mike Godfrey and Adrian Carson, I'm Ron Franklin. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com, your home for college football on the Internet. Good night, everybody.